How do I move from or into the new leadership style, which is less controlling, less structure, less ordering, less demanding, into a more participatory style where I understand what the needs, what the strengths, what the abilities of the person or the employee or, or the co-worker I'm working with. And one of the answers that I proposed was, number one, have a dialogue. It seems like going from one extreme to the other, from too structured, too much control, to non-control, non-structured, not guidelines, the extreme is not the answer. Either one is not seen as an effective leadership style. What we like to bring all of us into the awareness is that through dialogue, through having that conversation with the person that uh, we like to uh, help, to assist, or the person that we need, we require the skills and strengths and abilities to help us to fulfill together a vision is dialogue. And yes, uh, some people have said, but there's no time for dialogue. What happens is dialogue at the end, it saves time. Because what is better? To give something to someone, let's go into the structure, the controlling, quote, controlling, look like type of style of leadership style. So we give someone some, some structure, very carefully detailed actions to take, and this person is um, a person who is able to use a lot of their abilities to make it even better. What if this person could make it better, bigger, more effective? Okay, so let's look at this side. On the other side, what if we give some kind of responsibility or task to someone and this person doesn't have any clue as to how to do it? Either the person doesn't do it because he's afraid of making mistakes or does it in a way that it will take us a lot of time to repair. Here comes dialogue right in the middle, where we take the time up front to have a conversation as to what needs to happen, what are the results that we're envisioning, how this person could contribute, what are the skills that this person has, what needs to be improved, what help and resources this person needs. So you see, this time spent during the dialogue will save us time at the end. And so my answer to this person who was getting into a VP, a, a vice president uh, uh, position, and she said to me, you know, I'm, I'm really, I'm in the middle because I want to be this, I, I like to exercise the new leadership style, and yet I need to give a structure. And my answer is, give dialogue a try. And yes, some result-oriented people believe in results fast, quickly. And sometimes they come with many mistakes that take a lot of time to resolve. Now, on the other side, people who don't give a structure, who don't, you know, don't care about taking the time to guide in someone who probably doesn't know how to do it, again, come back, many mistakes. The answer, dialogue. We've seen many changes and wonderful results or very effective results from leaders who are taking the time to have the dialogue at the offset, at the beginning of any project. So I invite you to dialogue instead of either one of the two extremes.